working. That's so terrible. That's, That's so rude. Hello, Hello lovely, lovely people. people. Welcome back to Haley and Stella. My name is Stella. And I'm Haley. And today we are back with another horror reaction. Last week we did one that was kind of requested. It was on our poll on Patreon. We watched Carrie. Um, enjoyed it. 80s horror movies are like a different breed, honestly. So we're back. We figured we were going to kind of jump into the wonderful world. I don't know if I can call it that. The wonderful <laughs> world of Stephen King. Um because we have seen a few Stephen King movies in the past, um, and Carrie obviously was, you know, one of his, I think one of his biggest books, I don't know if, and it might, might be the biggest, maybe The Shining is his biggest book, but um, there are so many films of his, his books, and I haven't watched most of them, so today we are going to be watching Pet Cemetery. Um, this is, I, know, I can't say what year it came out. I think 89. it was actually 70s? 89. Oh, okay. Um, almost 90s. So, <laughs> almost 90s. I could not be more wrong. Um, but this is a late 80s film. Haley knows a little bit about it. I know. A little bit. S- squat. I know that it's <laughs> dead pets, I guess. And like pets coming back to life. Zombie pets. But I don't know much. Um... There was a modern remake of this film, I think 2019, so if that's worth watching, maybe we'll give it a look. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go in kind of blind, have a good time, probably be a little traumatized. Uh, As always, (laughs) full-length reaction will be up on Patreon if you want to watch along uh, with no edits, no cuts, no nothing. That'll be there, as well as other polls and things for upcoming reactions if you want to contribute. Um... So that, with that out of the way, let's just hop into Pet Cemetery. I wonder if we know anybody in there. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I feel like there are a lot of famous actors that kind of fell off and then didn't do anything following their their breakouts. This is where my kitty lives. Oh man, he screams and hollers. Damn. He lived for five or twenty days. This is sad. We're also definitely gonna have creepy kids. I'm gonna guess he's a doctor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally here. Yay! Mom doesn't Uh-oh, look that impressed. Cute kid. <laughs> oh yeah. So they probably moved from the big city. That's a nice house. Oh. It's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I won't allow myself to be drawn in by the cute family dynamics because I know it'll be turned yeah. dark. They're gonna so they move into this cute little house and then bam. Can't get attached to any of these kids. Stephen King's notorious for killing children. Mommy! Daddy! I see a cat! Ellie, be careful! Ooh. Yeah. No! Oh. She's okay. She'll be okay. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh- Maybe her leg, though. Yeah, no, but I, I, she's not dead is what I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is still in the realm of, like, normal childhood injury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, kitty. Cat. Huh? I think I knew this. I think I knew this. I had yeah, forgotten. Yeah, this is, like, the one big thing I knew. That's... Oh. Oh, that's terrible. That's so awful. There we go, my friend. Oh. Uh, that road. There. <laughs> I'm being really mean with this build up. Thank you. I'm Lewis Creed. Judd Cradle. I live just across. This actor, where have I seen him before? He does look damn familiar. Trucks go back and forth my cousin Vinny. Night. He's the judge. And my cousin Vinny. I've seen my cousin Vinny. Interesting. That is Ooh, one of my favorite movies mess. ever. It I is so funny. We should react. No, I, sh- I should watch so that good. one at some point. <laughs> Mr. Crandall, yeah. there's a path over there. Do you know where it goes? Oh. <laughs> he does. I'll take you up there sometime. The house has stood empty too long. It's damn good to see people in it again. All right, friendly neighbor. Yeah. 
Not too weird of a vibe, just a, a friendly vibe. Just a little. He talks in like a transatlantic accent, almost like he belongs in an old movie, which makes him mm. seem strange, but some people just talk like that. Come on up and have a beer. Need a glass? Not at all. Good for you. What's up with this road and just trucks just barreling down at every moment? So that path your wife commented on, that road, and those Orenko trucks, the two main reasons. Those trucks keep killing the animals? Pet cemetery. Huh. Pet cemetery. Dogs and cats, mostly. My little girl's got a cat. Winston Churchill. That's Oh, his that's name. an adorable name. That's so cute. I get him fixed by you. Fixed cat don't tend to wander. Here's your bones. Your bones. Is that a Congress for your like toast? Bones? <laughs> yeah. That's what? gonna be my next toast at New Year's. To your bones and to yours. Uh -oh. Oh, this this so kid cute. is freaking adorable. Hi, Missy. I'll do these out. Bring them back next time. Always thought it would be lucky to marry a doctor. Wish I had a doctor around with my stomach pain so bad. Guess I'll never be lucky. Okay, girl. Yeah, that's a slightly strange thing to say. We're coming! The cutest little family. Can we told this girl where we're going yet? Cause like, she seems really There's excited. Place. I wonder why it's with an S. Yeah, maybe kids wrote it? A graveyard for pets killed in the road, built by broken hearted children. Well, they have to learn about death somehow, now don't they, Ms. Green? Why? Well, okay. I feel like as a mom, that's something you should, you know you're, Kid's cat is gonna die someday, right? Daddy, what if Church dies? Not in the end. In the end, he's gonna croak, he isn't. Everybody. See, this is the hard conversation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't want Church to get his nuts cut, Daddy. <sighs> well, the road is a lot more dangerous than any operation. Church will be all right, honey. You promise, Daddy? Don't shilly shally, Lewis. Give the little. No, oh. don't promise things you can't, you can't control as a parent. Yeah. Church will be fine. I promise. Yeah! What you have to, what you tell a kid is like, church will be fine as long as we teach him well, keep him safe, keep an eye out. Like we look out for him like he was a family member. But that's what you say. But I don't know, teach your kid responsibility. I kissed you. Have a great first day at school, Doc. No, this family's so lovely. Yeah, they're genuinely so nice. Oh my gosh! What the heck? Oh my gosh! That's terrible! What kind of transition was that? Oh, okay. I mean, at the hospital, I guess that makes sense. This is the thing you see, but yeah. ugh. All right, get an ambulance here and get it right now. You gotta go to EMC. Oh, I know it won't, but for God's sake, let's do it by the well, rules. Uh oh. Yeah, he's gone. I was about to say, his neck's still moving. Like, he was breathing and his heart was beating. Of a man's heart, Tony will come to you. Well, that was fun. He got like 10 seconds of possession just before his death or something. Come on, Doc. We've got places. I hate that, like, his brain Ooh. is exposed. Very. Oh, that's such a creepy shot. Low quality, like, cameras can make some of the scariest still images ever. Hey, why are you here? Because you tried to help me. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't like this dream. Who said you were dreaming? Even if I thought I was dreaming, there's no chance in hell I'm going after this guy. No. When something scary happens to me in a dream, I run the other way. I'm just, I, I just refuse. Do not go on to the place where the dead walk. Ugh. The ground beyond. So only if stuff's buried over there, they come yes. back. So what's the deal with this fella? He wasn't buried in the pet cemetery. Why are we speaking to his ghost? Oh. I don't 
know why. I didn't think it was actually gonna be a dream. Getting there. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a dream. Mm, that's what I thought. Yeah. I think that ghost was trying to help him. He was creepy, but he didn't seem evil. Yeah. I don't like to think of you rattling around the house on Thanksgiving Day. That's why you're going with the kids and without me. As far as your dad is concerned, I'm never going to be a member of the family. But Ooh. Ooh. That's a major tension. I wonder if he's got a reason. Hmm. That feels like a strong... To be like, your, your husband's not allowed at family Thanksgiving. Makes me think something big happened. Lewis, afraid you may have a spot of trouble here. Well, there's a dead cat over here on the edge of my lawn. I think it might be your daughter's. Oh, no. <sighs> not Winston Churchill. I, it was, like, it's gotta happen. That's the movie. It, uh, the movie doesn't have a plot, but... If the cat doesn't die, but I didn't want it to happen so soon. Yep. That church, all right. <laughs> oh. How long has it been sitting there for it to solidify? I know it takes a little, like, know. at least a day. Maybe there's a better way. He's like, just bring her cat back to life. That'll solve all your problems. The place we're going is on the other side of that. Just follow me. It'd be like, a ghost came to me and told me not to go over there. Okay. Thanks, Judd. Like, you're being real helpful in this <laughs> scenario. Not explaining, like, why we have to bury him there. <sighs> not much farther now. Just down here a little ways. I thought it was just on the other side of those, like, brambles. We're, like, hiking. I know. This is a whole trip. This is, like, the edge of a cliff. What is going on? Because when they said, oh, the uh, over there is where, like, they come back to life, whatever, I figured it was near enough that people could, like, accidentally oh, bury yeah, their pets there, mm -hmm. and then they come back. This is no accident. This is so yeah. intentional. This was their burial ground. Who's they? Big Mac Indians. Brought you here to bury Ellen's cat. Why, for God's sake. I had my reasons. You can't make us hike all the way up here. I'd help you, but you gotta do it yourself. Each buries his own. Who did he bury? Yeah. But, like, also, I can't imagine this goes well. So, like, no. why would you recommend for somebody else to do it? When you talk to him, not one word about what we've done tonight. The soil of a man's heart, Lewis, oh. is stonier. Oh. Make my bearing down. You did the one thing bro warned you not to do. How's church, Daddy? Does he miss me? I guess he's just fine, Ellie. I haven't seen him this evening. And kiss him goodnight for me. <laughs> Yuck. Kiss your own cat. Oh, that hurted. Hi, Daddy. I love you. Stop. It's so cute. Hi, Daddy. I love you. You better say something back. I hope he said something back. Yeah, seriously. You better tell that baby you love him. Yeah, how much time do we have? Like, how long is are we... At Grandma and Grandpa's for Thanksgiving. Do we have time for this cat to come back on its own? How long does it take for, for the cat to come back? <laughs> well, that certainly answered that question. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen as soon as I was like, I'm gonna do where the cat is. That was a good cat jump scare. Usually a cat jump scare is not gonna get me. Food church. Food. His eyes were yellow. Mistake, church. Oh, God, he chewed his way out. Mm -hmm. If he like, <laughs> I'll be real. That's just cats. If you're grabbing him and you're like, "Let me look at your neck," that cat's gonna scratch you. Yeah, I like wonder how the lore of this works. Like, tell myself. Obviously, that I the cat alive. is an empty vessel. Who knows what's in there? I'm not now. a vet. But I wonder if like the body is still decaying. The ragman told me about the place. He knew how I felt about my dog, Spot. John, come and get your dog! Spot. It was never quite the same dog that I knew. Okay, but if you knew he came back different... Did it? Because your yeah, daughter... Why would you do really this to... Why would you do this to, to the cat? I don't understand your reasoning. Has anyone ever buried a person up there? Christ on his throne, no. <laughs> Whoever would. Uh, 
<clears throat> it's a valid question. Like, yeah, he very didn't say much he so. would, also, but it was a hypothetical. The fact that that guy got so spooked about that makes me think someone did and he knows about it, or I don't know. I don't think it's unheard of. Mm -hmm. I also unfortunately think that th I think that's the natural progression. If people learn about like magical land that will bring, they're going to be like, let me bury my long lost, my dead nephew, my dead cousin. What the? Ugh. That's ah. awful. Ugh. How the hell did you? Yeah, he closed the door. Bye bye. Ellie. I don't think Ellie's oh, good. Be happy. We're home. <laughs> Oh, wait, this is so cute. Waiting for them with flowers at the airport. This is a really nice Hi, family. Oh, he really loves his family. It's church, all right? Because I had a dream about him. I dreamed he got hit by a car and you and Mr. Crandall buried him in the pet cemetery. That's a premonition, my girl. This, this kid can shine. Ew, you smell bad. Yeah. Like, he doesn't look as bad as he looked when they found him. Can cats have shampoos? Church smells bad. I hate that smell. I think he smells dead. What did that say? I am said I have something. cancer and I cannot take the pain. Sorry. That's what I thought. I didn't, couldn't read every word, is though. It, is it Missy? Girly! Oh my gosh, we've like seen this character for two minutes and they're doing this. <laughs> and now Oh may the That's Stephen King. That's Stephen King, yeah. I think he's and pretty involved in this movie. It said he wrote the screenplay. And give you peace. Alright, he was gonna say I'm in. I think after the shining he was like, I'm doing all my own movies. You don't don't Kubrick me. Yeah. I know he hates that adaptation, well. but I thought The Shining well, is so good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. He made his own too, and it's supposed to be way worse. <laughs> How's your cat, Lois? Jelly's cat. It's your cat now. <laughs> You're the one who buried it. When this all goes horribly, horribly wrong, I'm blaming Judd. Judd is. Uh, he will be the villain in my book. Is Missy in heaven, do you think? Different people believe all sorts of different things. I think we go on. I have faith in that. You believe in it. This is a very like good and like grounded conversation and like it's very real without being too sad. Like, oh my gosh. I know. I'm quite impressed by this family's What a good dad. Familying. They're yeah. they're a good family. My sister Zelda. I know she died. Spinal meningitis. I had to feed her sometimes. I hated it. But I oh that's so traumatic. Oh my god. She started to look like this monster. My parents were gone when she died. <laughs> to, to, to convulse, and I thought, I thought, oh my god, she's choking. Oh, oh, I don't like this one bit. <laughs> and then she died. Scream, I ran out of the house screaming, Zelda's dead! Wow, this woman went through horrific trauma. That's terrible. If I ever needed another reason not to like your mother and father, I have one now. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, that absolutely was not on you. That was too real, too! My god! Because that, as a kid, too, that's how you see things like that. You don't, you know, you're not looking at it in an adult way. It's just you see someone, a family member, turning into what you see as a monster. Like, they're not themselves anymore. Yeah. And you're so little, and somehow it's your responsibility as well. Like, they do, there's a similar plot point in the movie Smile that came out a few years ago, and that was my favorite, like, one of the most compelling parts of the movie. Dude, dude, after that whole scene, we're doing this right away. We're doing this right away! You're joking, you're joking. Yeah, this is like the one big thing I knew happened in the movie. Oh, I knew about got this too, it, but I forgot. Fine. I didn't know it was got this it? movie. Can I, I don't want to be here for this. He's so cute. Because this is like an objectively horrible occurrence, regardless. And I've we I've seen the scene. You know about the scene. It's so much worse now that we know this lovely little family. Oh, I got this. <laughs> Can I find it now? Oh. Okay, in just a minute. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit back and I'm gonna accept what's happening. 
Yell his name or something. Oh. Oh. No! Why would you do this? Give us the family pictures. No, because because they're putting together a collage. Yeah. This is my when someone dies. This is the part I have some of the heart like the most trouble with is photographs. And it's always like put together a collage for the funeral or something. Mm -hmm. I don't want to think about this too hard or I will I will genuinely cry. Ellie, what you got there? Oh, ain't that real nice? Ooh, uh oh, uh-oh. That's hidden in a really weird spot for me. I'm an older yeah, sister no, and I have a little brother. Ooh, uh oh. Oh God, that's gage. Me too. <laughs> <sighs> Stephen King, yeah, this is mean. waiting for him. That's she has to keep his things waiting for him. I've got this picture. I'm gonna sit in this chair. Ellie. Stop. Wow, that's so rude. Take care, you little girl. She needs you. If you would have told me Pet Cemetery is gonna make me cry, I would have been like, what are you talking about? I kind of should have put two and two together that like the central theme of this movie is death as death, a in, like childhood dealing with death. I, I don't want to watch the funeral scene. Now look at this. Where were you when he was playing in the road? You killer of jokes! <laughs> Dude, what is wrong with that man? It's your son's funeral. Get a hold, Get a hold of, of himself. Thing. Are you joking? Grandma and grandpa can leave. No, no, no. no I'm not even seriously? hugging. Like, no hugging grandma. No, 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 no. Grandma, was... take your husband and get the hell out of here. He, man turned his back for one second. And like, he sprinted. It's like a horrible, horrible accident. And that's like, at his son's funeral, you're going to go and be like, you killed him? I have to like detach my brain from this. Now. I know. It's this is a horror it's movie. You need much. to be in the mindset to be scared, not crying. Because <laughs> it's so he wanted to. Couldn't he? Can I have faith in that? I suppose you can. I don't know how healthy it is, but if, if that's how you cope with it right now, so be it. John, I buried my son today. You're thinking thoughts best not thought of, Lois. I'm responsible for more pain in your heart than you should have tonight. No one, nobody no, is responsible how so? for this. You are thinking to put him up there. You can't though. Lewis. The cat is already crazy. Can you imagine put a person up there? Yes. Your son comes back with glowing eyes. Like, yeah. Uh, uh. You asked me if anyone had ever buried a person up there in the Big Mac. I knew it. Mm -hmm. Someone has. <laughs> was that you, mister? His name was Timmy Vaderman. He was killed on his way home. Second World War. Wow. He didn't even like lose him in in the war. He lost him on the way home. Oh, just on the way back. But sometimes, that is better. The person you put up there ain't the person that comes back. Who lives in the ground beyond the pet cemetery. Oh, gross. Yeah, there's no other way. He's got a bird. Timmy, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. The place is gone. Oh, he's calling him dad. Are you still okay, that, Bill? There's some part of the brain left. That's very, that kind of changes the vibe. Whoa, whoa, we're just gonna burn the whole house down? His dad's in there! Yeah, but dad's not gonna let them kill him. Oh, dad, I hate living. Sometimes, dad is better. I hope that was the tagline for the movie. I think it, it must have been, right? It must be, it's so good. Please, but it may be each time, because I introduced you to the power. Can it do that? Your son, Lewis. I think we don't really know the rules. You don't, they don't, I, what he's saying, I think, is just that he doesn't know the spiritual stuff at play. This could be the beginning of... And it almost feels like, like retribution, divine folks. retribution for messing with dead. I don't want to go to Chicago, Grandma Dory. I had a bad dream last night. About no, don't tell your grandparents this. Don't do that. And someone named Pax Cat. You guys better get going. Lewis. No. <laughs> what can I say? I lost my mind. That's not... We I... all lost our minds, Erwin. 
Uh, no, true. I, at, at that point, you can say, sure, I accept your apology. I never want to speak to you again. And I think you'd yeah. be completely in your right to say that, to set that boundary and be like, listen, you can you can regret what you said and did. Wherever it came from, though, is something I can I cannot be around. Come on, Ellie. Let's go. I wonder if mom blames him a little bit. I... Unfortunately, like, losing a child historically can break up even the best of families. I was about to say, I don't love that he's been left on his own. You're gonna dig him up though? He has that's to. Re I he know, but that's to. such, I think at that point, like I almost would understand better, uh, but uh, this is, this is, I just, I don't, like, how could you not feel like a criminal? This, this like, is you're, wrong. Like, <laughs> you must know as you're doing it. I feel like as you're like desecrating a, the grave of your son, something inside you has got to tell you, you can't do this. It's wrong. Yeah. What happened to you is wrong. Okay, wait, yes? Remember, Doc, barrier is not meant to be crossed. If it doesn't work, I'll just put him back to sleep. No, you... Can you put, like, yeah. to put yourself through that trauma a second time? Yeah, seriously. Are you, Return are you strong you enough to do that? No. But also, like, with what has happened, I'm shocked that, like, Rachel is like, okay, we're leaving for, we're gonna leave him fully alone. Uh, mommy! She's having nightmares, I think. That's because his dad is gonna do something really bad. The ghost. <laughs> there are no ghosts, Ellie. There are no ghosts. Is this the house <laughs> that Zelda died in? Be with these calm. Make sure mm. that it's okay. It is quite possible. No, I honestly, I think this whole decision to go back to Chicago and stay with your parents for a while is is wild. I pack scout. Wow, actually, you're a real one. Pascal. Yeah, low key. Hello, Judd. It's Rachel Creed. I'm calling from Chicago, and he needed a few days to close things up back there. Judd's like, uh oh, uh oh. <sighs> Judd knows. I'll, I'll tell him to call you. Don't bother, Chad. I'm coming home. Is that a police car? Oh! Oh! He's losing his mind a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a tiny bit. You have to. That's the other thing. This is not like a quick task. It's not like one, two, and he's up. This is, you need to commit to this for hours and hours and hours and then dig another hole for hours and hours. You have to be fully committed to what you are doing. Damn it, you stupid old man. Now you got to undo it. Uh-uh. He has to take him out though because he can't put the box in because the, remember the cat chewed its way out of the bag? Sure. Okay. But just carry, if you at least just carry the- Ooh! Ooh! Oh, that's so- I don't like that. Also- oh. Oh! And... This is- this is, to me, too taboo. It's I've always- I've always felt this way. Like, dead- children's dead children, bodies, I dead can't. children. Um, all the pictures are turning. <laughs> what is going on? All of a sudden, this feels like a traditional horror movie. <laughs> She's still in Chicago, right? Oh, she's... oh no, we just have to relive this. Ooh, ooh! I'm coming for you. Good evening again, uh, lady. I'd be like, oof, this woman's going through it. Oh, he was trying to catch him before he, uh, yeah, he's asleep. He was trying to catch him before he went to the cemetery. Yeah. But our boy Jed fell asleep. Not gonna stop you. The universe is saying no. I really don't have anything. What about the Aries K? I do have an Aries K. I'll take it. What a what a bro. Truly. Just imagine 
information. You are fully aware that this place brings dead things back to life, and you're like, nah, I'm seeing things. <laughs> there ain't no spirits here. It's trying to stop you. Maybe the ground is, can control stuff. Yeah. Or other spirits, I don't know. Come back to me, Gage. That cat is still there. <laughs> Okay, but if you thought he was gonna come back, why would you put rocks on top of him? I know, yeah, bro. <laughs> Watch this be like the same truck driver that killed her kid. Now we're good. Me and me. Oh, thank you. These are not sounds a child should be making. No, sir. I don't want to see him all spooky. He was so cute. <laughs> oh, this is weird. But why is he doing this? Who's there? You know who's there, Judd. Gage? I don't know if it's Gage. I think it's Gage's body. Oh, this man's gonna die. He's gonna get stabbed with a scalpel, I think. Come on out. I do know one, one thing. I brought- Well then I won't say anymore, cause I don't. Oh, yep. Where did you go? Oh, oh, jeepers. Oh, oh, oh. It's a really That's... classic thing where the Awful. baby with the scalpel slices a, an Achilles tendon. Classic. I didn't know about oh, that. Aw, oh. oh, he's still kind of cute, though. I know, he's like, really all I can think cute. about is this, like, little actor. And they're, like, telling him, trying to be scary. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Are they, like, working together now? The cat and the. I think they're, they're the besties. Oh, Rachel. Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. I don't think you're ready, Rachel. I don't think you know what you're walking into, baby. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's the end of the line for me, too. I'm not allowed any further. You did what you could. I appreciate you, Pascal. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, top tier Rachel! ghost. In terms of movie ghosts, he's S tier. <laughs> gonna see the little, the little itty bitty baby footsteps. Judd? I have no idea how this movie's going to end. Judd? Are you up there? I mean, where's Lewis in all this? He just taking a nap? He's just at home. I think he's just waiting for Gage to come home. But Gage said I'm gonna take a little detour first and kill the neighbor. On top of everything. Never get out of there again. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, Gage. What happened to Judd's body? Gage. I brought you something, Mom. Like I can't brought you dead. I brought you something, Mommy. Oh. Ah! I don't mean to laugh. That was kind of silly. Y'all, there's like 10 minutes left. What is, what are we doing here? Is he gonna kill everybody? Cause look, sounds like he killed mama. Is the end of this movie gonna be him forced to kill him? I don't know if I wanna watch that. I think that I, I cannot foresee another ending that wraps us up. Oh my God. Either, either <laughs> Lewis is gonna die as well and then Gage is just on the loose or, or he he's to gotta kill, kill him, which is terrible. This has been a weirdly effective concept for me. I just wanted to be sure Rachel got back all right. Did 
did she get back all right? Yes. Liar. Ellie had a dream that her mother was dead. All right, I can't talk to you right now. Come on and play with me. I played with mommy. We had an awful good time. Ugh. What did you do? <laughs> Yo, wait, what was the syringe? I think he has a syringe ready for gauge. Want some grub, church? Don't mind me. This cat is a top tier actor. <laughs> Oh. Go on, lie down. I don't like that. I don't like that. All right, Gage. Your, Your turn. turn. <laughs> <laughs> but we also we still have to discover Mom and discover Judd. Why does it look like this? Are we meant to believe that Gage did all of this in one night? You didn't I? He can manipulate what you see. Yeah, well, I guess he could. He could pretend. He, you know, he made Rachel see Zelda. Who are these? Like, what are these spirits? Is it just one malevolent, like one bad spirit, or is it just a bunch of evil? I, I don't think we're gonna get an explanation either. Why does Jed's house have to be so spooky? I know. And why do we have to do the let's slowly look around every corner? The so suspenseful. Everybody dies in the living or not the, the bedroom. The music. Ah! Ooh. <laughs> Holy! This is insane. Dude, I can't believe you didn't have that ready. Come here. Oh, God. No, don't cry like that. You're joking. That's so terrible. That's That's so rude. Stopping. <laughs> wow. What the heck? Oh, he's gonna burn it down. Yeah, I think this is it. I think this is just gonna be how it ends. And I, all I'm gonna think about once the movie's over is poor Ellie. I know, cause I'm like, I don't think is Dad gonna stay in the house? Cause like I don't know. How Even if he does, he's traumatized beyond repair. I think. Like I don't know how he could just return to being a good dad. Ugh. I almost would rather everyone die rather than just one girl left behind. I'm sorry, Lewis, but don't make it worse. I waited too long with Gage. With oh, he's nuts. No. She just died a little while ago. Oh my god. Yo, how are we ending this? I'm so scared Rachel's gonna walk in. <laughs> I think she, I mean... Are we playing solitaire? He's just like me, for real. He's like, I, oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Yeah, no, duh. Dude. Oh. What the hell? What the hell is this? <laughs> Why is the music so up? You're joking. You're joking. This is like the end credits song to like a teen movie. Oh, alright. Well, let's take that away. 
Uh, exit out of that. Never gonna watch that one again. Oh my god. I kind of thought that would have warned me. Like, this was just gonna be like a little campy, like yeah, silly sad, little eighties movie, but like not too bad. What the? Heck? That was like fully traumatizing. No, you know what? I'm gonna say my good things first. Unironically, a good movie. Like well crafted and really effective, and spooky and scary in its own way. Because it was obviously it's the '80s, so all the effects are bad, and yet I still feel like sick to my stomach. So, you know, you did something right. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't necessarily love what you did. I didn't like watching it, but you did it. Yeah. All right. I, like, it, it it was a very strangely, like. It, like, almost, it, like, it, it's very, I like, okay, sorry. My thoughts are all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. Um, like, I like that it wasn't really about, like, the spookiness or, like, the bringing stuff back to life. This movie is about yeah. grief. Like, you know, it's... Plain and simple. Shockingly devastating. Why did yeah. I, why did we cry? Yeah. During because, this movie? like... It's it's so real. And I, mm-hmm. I'm sure this felt... And I, Okay, uh, I have so many thoughts too now. <laughs> I'm having the same issue. And this is the problem, because I have to keep this intro pretty short, because I have to go get on get on a little road trip in a, in a couple minutes. But, like, I have so much to say. All right, I'm, I'm going to just set this aside. Drop in the comments what people think about this movie, what the experience was. If you saw this when it came out, where did it, like, rank up next to other 80s horror films? Was this something new or was this kind of like the huge? I just think that like everything in it was really effective. And this is the kind of horror that works really well when you don't have the money to make everything look amazing or whatnot. It wasn't really campy, you know, even though there's some silly elements that are obviously like lower budget and they didn't have the technology to make things look scary the way they could today. Mm the core ideas are scary and that carries the film the core mm-hmm. ideas are scary because they're like what would i do in that cir- in, cir- in that circumstance like with such a tragic young death would i take advantage of this magical spirit graveyard cuz i there there are so many people who would who might yeah. uh but then i don't know just the honestly the kid just being a normal kid when he came back pretty much like, he wasn't covered in special effects makeup, which, again, is... I'm sure it's constraints of the time. Because nowadays, we just CG the hell out of some child actor. and But back then, it would have had to be all practical. And you can't mm-hmm. cover, like, a three-year-old actor in a ton in of practical effects makeup. Stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. not fair. So I was really impressed that working around these constraints, they're still able to make a really effective ending. And then also the fact that, like... Everything you think is going to happen happens pretty much, and then it's 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 that really effective form of horror of just like I know exactly what's about to happen and I can do nothing to prevent it. I just have to sit back and watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Poor Ellie. My God. I uh, know. Like so, just okay. both her every all her family is dead. I will say that like there's something particularly devastating about the very end when he hasn't learned his lesson and he's still trying to like bring them back it's just so sad it's so sad this man is just consumed by his grief that like reason logic out the window past mistakes learning nothing from them does he care if he dies like that there's so much i think there's so much going on psychologically and really good work from all the actors involved like, there were no cheesy performances that I was kind of like, ah, oh, whatever. And especially, this is, like, it's high emotion. But I kind of get the vibe at the end. He's, at this point, he's like, if she stabs me, she stabs me, as long as I get to see my wife again. Because he's also, he's already been stabbed by Gage. He's kind of mm-hmm. bleeding out. He might die anyway. Uh, and then the other thing is, on top of that, like, you, you can see the trauma. It makes sense. That's I think that's what hurts the most about him bringing her, is you're not... There's no point where you're like, this is ridiculous. No one would ever do this. Like, no, no, no. He's lost his son. He's lost his wife. What he's left with is he has to go back, tell his, like, 
six or seven year old daughter that her mother has died. He can't explain how he is, uh, Judd is dead. He's responsible for the death of both Judd and his wife. Like, I don't think he wanted to live. So I don't yeah. even think it came from a place of like, oh, I really believe this time it'll be different. I don't think he cared if it was different or not. Um, which is tragic and it's good writing because they don't have to spell that out for us. Mm -hmm. Like these are just events that you can imagine happening to yourself and you can feel through the decisions and the, the, the trauma and the grief and kind of come to the same state of mind as the characters. So they don't, I wasn't mad at him. And I think that makes no. a big difference is I wasn't like, how could you bear like, you know, dig up, like it's terrible. It's objectively terrible. But at no point was I like, he knows better and he's making this mistake. He truly mm -hmm. just did not, his entire judgment was fully clouded. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Ugh. So there is a pet cemetery too. Uh, <laughs> Couldn't tell you what that one's about and I'm sure it's not great. But this was this this was a surprise to me. I kind of expected a B movie, not like not very good. And this was, honestly, as far as Stephen King adaptations I've seen, this was really solid. Like this was up there, with, maybe not. It's not the same caliber as The Shining, and obviously mm -hmm. that takes a bunch of creative liberties. And I don't know how close this is to the original story, but it's up there with like it and other stories. It's also a very self-contained story. Like sometimes Stephen King likes to explain everything and be like, so the history of the demons is blah, blah, blah. And actually in it, there's a giant space turtle and blah, blah, blah. And he gives all this crazy lore. Mm -hmm. This doesn't need that. Mm -hmm. This was, I think they kept what they needed. It was a good self-contained story. Um, and I'm honestly very curious about the remake because I know that wasn't well received. So I'm curious yeah. what they got wrong, because I actually think this is a movie that could work really well if it was made today, if you did it right. Yeah. Which I'm sure they didn't. Yeah, so, of course, but why you know, <laughs> you guys in the audience who have seen it, you guys know whether it's worth a watch or not. You can let us know. Obviously, even bad movies are worth watching because we'll dissect them and tell, mm -hmm. talk about why they're not good and why they don't live up to the original. But I'm on the Stephen King hype train right now. I'm kind of excited to get into some other movies. So. On our lists, we've got It, which I know you've seen the, the miniseries. The 90s, yes. And not the movies. Exactly. And I have seen the first movie, but not the second. So I think mm -hmm. that's a good place for us to go. But there's plenty of other Stephen King. When we were on White Noise, we did Stand By Me. We did The Green Mile. So we did some of his more serious, like dramatic novels. And there's so many of those. So we'll put up a list. Keep an eye on Patreon. There'll be polls. There'll be whatever. There's also full-length reactions over there. So if you want to see the, us react to the full, unedited trauma of this movie, that's over there. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. Maybe we need, like, a breather, like a padding movie in between. We'll, like, pick some, like, silly, funny, campy horror movie and watch that and then go back to Stephen King and Dead Kids. But I, I'm surprised this wasn't more recommended to me. I feel like mm -hmm. I don't hear much about this, and I was I was shocked. So, props to the director, who, by the way, I think is a woman. I think I saw that it was made this women directed film, and that's always exciting, especially in the '80s. I don't know how many movies were directed by women. Um, yeah, really, really good. Kind of a sleeper movie. Yeah. So, uh. that was Pet Cemetery. <laughs> Yeah. If you'd like to see any of the other related movies, Pet Cemetery 2 or the uh, 2019 remake, let us know. If not, drop another Stephen King movie, anything better, anything good, or something crappy. I have no problem watching bad movies and making fun of them, as long as they're entertaining. But lots of fun stuff in store. Please subscribe to the channel, leave comments, leave some love, like the video, do all the things that you do to support your YouTuber people. I don't, I don't, I always feel so silly telling people to do those things. I'm like, you know how YouTube works. <laughs> um, and then Patreon is linked in our bio. So go check that out. Support us there if you feel so inclined. And we will see you guys in our next spooky little reaction. <laughs>